Tesla showcased the progress of the Optimus robot, highlighting its learning achievements and overcoming new obstacles encountered over the past year on the journey toward launching the Starship. This video covers updates from American officials about the world's inaugural factory for manufacturing humanoid robots, trials of devices designed for supporting childbirth, and the introduction of the first humanoid robot destined for the moon. These and additional updates are featured in this video for your enjoyment. Tesla recently announced that Optimus Robot, unveiled around a year ago, has achieved the capability to autonomously sort objects. The robot accomplishes this task using its end-to-end -end trained neural network. Tesla showcased this, demonstrating Optimus engaging in self-calibration and physically sorting colored blocks into corresponding trays. Interestingly, the robot showcased its adaptability to the environment by continuing to sort blocks correctly even when a Tesla employee intervened. Tesla Bond exhibit its ability to balance on one leg, showcasing various poses including standing on its left leg and performing yoga poses. These skills are acquired through end-to-end -end training of neural network algorithms that operate directly on the robot's onboard computer. Over the past year, Optimus has made substantial progress, a noteworthy development considering that just a year ago, Tesla's humanoid robot struggled with basic walking capabilities. And now, unfortunately, there's some discouraging news for all Elon Musk enthusiasts. It has come to light that the second launch of the Starship spacecraft might face significant delay, primarily due to government officials. The United States Fish Wildlife Service has yet to commence the official review process, a step that could span anywhere from 30 to 135 days. The Federal Aviation Administration has indicated that it will not issue a launch license until this review is completed. This necessary review has been prompted by alterations made by SpaceX following the initial unsuccessful launch. The company modified the flight termination system and implemented around 1,000 other adjustments to both the spacecraft and launch vehicle. Further precautions have been taken to prevent additional damage in the launch area, including the installation of steel plates with a liquid cooling system that performed well during tests. This system effectively manages the heat generated by Raptor engines, specifically used on the Starship spacecraft. Now, the Fish and Wildlife Service is tasked with evaluating the environmental impact of these changes and they seem to be in no hurry to expedite the process. This situation echoes the delay encountered in the first Starship launch, where officials similarly postponed the launch for thorough evaluations. Agility Robotics has unveiled plans for the world's inaugural humanoid robot factory, a sprawling 6,500-square-meter facility set to be located in Oregon. This cutting-edge plan is poised to churn out over 10,000 units of digits humanoid robot annually. The noteworthy aspect is that these robots are expected to collaborate with humans within the same factory setting. The construction of this robot factory is slated for completion this year, and initial robot deliveries to customers are scheduled to commence in 2024. However, the public market availability of these robots is anticipated in 2025. The inaugural year, the company aims to manufacture approximately 100 robots, gradually ramping up production to impressive figure of 10,000 units. Digits, the bipedal, two-armed robot, stands at a height of 175 centimeters and weighs around 65 kilograms. With a capacity to carry payloads of 16 kilograms in its hands, Digits comes equipped with innovative grasping mechanisms, the ability to autonomously navigate to charging stations, and an operational span of 16 out of 23 hours akin to two full shifts. Its unique leg design enables the robot to squat low while maintaining balance during the lifting of heavy objects. In the event of forceful push, Digits takes a significant step back to preserve equilibrium. This advanced robot is integrated with LiDAR technology and its head is specifically designed to facilitate seamless communication with users. Control of the robot can be executed via a standard tablet, although engineers are actively exploring incorporation of artificial intelligence into its functionalities. Medical professionals in the United States are gearing up for trials involving an innovative concept known as the artificial wand. Although the current technology is not yet capable of supporting the entire gestation process from conception to birth, its primary goal is to enhance the prospects of healthy development for premature babies born between 22 and 28 weeks. 
The proposed approach entails placing these premature infants into bio bag filled with electrolytes and their umbilical blood vessels are connected to a system providing oxygenated blood. Successful trials on lambs have paved the way for researchers at the Children's Hospital of Philadelphia to seek approval for the initial clinical trials involving human subjects. The potential of this system raises intriguing questions about its application in raising infants. What are your thoughts on such groundbreaking approach? Feel free to share your opinions in the comment section. The humanoid robot Apollo is set to make its way to the moon. Not immediately, but developers from Aptronic are collaborating with NASA to tailor it for space missions. In a bid to showcase NASA's expectation from the robot, Aptronic engineers presented Valkyrie, another humanoid bot initially designed for NASA but never subjected to extensive testing. In contrast, Apollo is being repurposed to function as an assistant to astronauts residing on space stations in orbit as well as on bases on the moon or Mars. Initially conceived for industrial applications in sectors like logistics, manufacturing, hotels, and healthcare, Apollo is now undergoing adaptations for specific space functions. While detailed information about these modifications is currently unavailable, NASA's goal is to enhance the robot's autonomy and maneuverability for its role in space exploration. A company known as 4-Year Intelligence has pledged to deploy 100 humanoid robots this year. Their GR1 robot, currently more focused on research, aspires to evolve into a versatile worker in the future. The broader trend of substituting human labor with robots is gaining momentum, and Toyota has recently taken a groundbreaking step in the field of robotics. Toyota has introduced a revolutionary approach to training robots using artificial intelligence in real-world scenarios, aiming to enable robots to master tasks in just a few hours. This development has the potential to imbue mass-produced humanoid robots, including those by companies like Tesla, with genuine intelligence resembling a GPT for robotics. The new training system, pioneered by researchers at the Toyota Research Institute, empowers robots to solve complex tasks using both hands and regular human tools. This method allows robots with artificial intelligence to observe a person performing a physical task, receiving tactile feedback through soft grippers, and essentially program themselves to execute the task flexibly. In this training process, a human operator demonstrates the task to the robot several times under varying conditions. The robot's artificial intelligence then constructs an internal model of success and failure, running numerous simulations to determine methods for accomplishing the task. Toyota reports using this approach to quickly train bots in over 60 minor tasks, with plans to master control over 100 tasks by the end of the year and over 1,000 tasks by the end of 2024. This ambitious endeavor by Toyota aims to create a robotic equivalent of ChatGPT in action, marking a significant leap in the integration of artificial intelligence into robotics. If you found this video interesting, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more content.